I'm here today to just give you an outline of what a typical day is for us in the emergency department. We have seen a large increase in the number of patients coming into the ER, especially since Chapter 58 was passed and all our citizens are required to have health insurance. Problem being that there aren't any primary care physicians to take care of these patients. So we have become their primary care physician. We start our day with a busy ER and we end our day with a busy ER. Besides our critical patients coming in, our regular patients coming in, we are also seeing a large amount of psychiatric patients that we have to medically clear who are then evaluated and then sit in our ER and wait for a bed in our system. A system that is, quite frankly, failed. We also have medical patients, critical care patients, who board in our emergency department for lack of beds on our floors. When our beds are full and there's no place else to send them because other hospitals are also full, they remain in the emergency department. However, there is no increase in staff when these patients are boarding in our department. The nurses that are taking the incoming ER patients are also required to take care of the boarding patients. The floors, when we send our patients up to the floors, a lot of times, it'll be the seventh or eighth patient that that nurse is taking on. That is way beyond the limit that a nurse should have. We file unsafe staffing reports continuously. We get no response from our administration for these. I'd like to give you an idea of what a typical night would be for me. I'm a night nurse. I will come in tonight to work, and there will be five of us. I have two new grad nurses, a nurse with less than two years experience, a nurse with nine years experience, and myself. And that will make up our staff for the night. I will have charge. I will be responsible for the flow of all the patients through that ER. I will be responsible for knowing which patients my nurses are capable of caring for due to their level of experience. I will also be the triage nurse. I will triage every patient that walks through the door, and I will direct the ambulances that come in. I will also be the mentor and the nurse that steps into the two new grad nurses to instruct them, to help them with their patients, and to take over a critical patient if one of their patients starts to become critical and they're not capable of caring for them because of lack of experience. I will also have the five, six, seven, or eight psych patients that are boarding in my emergency department because there are no beds for them to go through. So technically, tonight I will not be one nurse. My administration expects me to be five nurses. We need this Patient Safety Act. We need it now. Thank you.